A great place to start a course like Windows PowerShell Basics is to begin with a question exactly why should I care about Windows PowerShell? Why should I involve the amount of time and effort it's going to take to understand PowerShell? Well, let's go back and think about what has happened in the world of the Windows Computer Administrator's life. First of all, way back in the beginning, we had a few administrators. Now, if you remember back to the beginning, a lot of companies were administrator heavies. They had a lot of us nerds out there, and we understood a fair amount about the operating systems and so forth. And so we had quite a few administrators, and we had relatively few computers for the amount of administrators we had. We had administrators that specialized on almost everything. And then as time went on, we maintained our administrative staff, and of course, we added a lot more computers. And life was going pretty well. And then the realities of budgets and competition and costs and overhead came in. And we saw that we began to have fewer administrators out there. And yet we added a lot more computers. And so the process of administering and managing and maintaining our networks got a lot more complex, especially for the Windows administrator. Now, think about the evolution of Windows administration. The Windows operating system very early on, once they went to the graphical user interface, Windows 95, they really conquered the corporate desktop and the personal home user desktop. And then from there, it was almost a very short, quick leap into the back office or the server. Now, back when I was in corporate administration, we were Unix based and we never considered going to Windows for quite a while. But then, of course, we finally did the same thing. Now, keep in mind, the Windows operating system. Administration was a GUI-based, a graphical user interface-based world, and this was very, very easy and user-friendly on a single machine. But over time, as our environments grew larger and our IT teams and our administrative staff shrunk, this started to be a problem because graphical tools, even being able to use a graphical tool to connect to a remote computer, there's a lot of mouse clicks and a lot of steps to remember, and you're only working on one machine at a time. Now, the command line tools, most of us fell back onto our old familiar command line tool friends because they were easy to automate. Now, I don't know if you've been around this long, but do you remember DOS when we could go out there and open command.com or later command exe? We could sequence commands in a batch file. And just by double clicking or calling a batch file, we could make a lot of cool things happen quick. It was relatively easy to perform multiple actions in a script and make all kinds of magical things happen. But with those tools, the available actions were extremely limited. It was very, very difficult to manage most aspects of the Windows operating system. Now, that is where PowerShell comes in. PowerShell gives you that command line interface. And it provides a lot of power to the Windows administrator. Now, this is where the Unix Linux world has giggled at us, and rightly so, for many years. As Windows administrators, we just did not have the kinds of powerful tools that the Unix Linux guys had out there. And we just simply couldn't provide the same functionality from a command line environment. So PowerShell gives us that, and then it adds some really cool functionalities. PowerShell exposes most of the aspects of the Windows operating system to us in a relatively easy to figure out and utilize method. But the big one here is PowerShell kind of hooks in or integrates, whatever you want to call it, into the .NET framework. Now, if you're a developer, if you've ever done any kind of programming in the Microsoft environment, you fully realize what that means. With the .NET framework, I have a lot of classes and functionalities that I can simply instantiate objects from and call methods and properties and so forth. And that is extremely powerful. Now, PowerShell provides a lot of really cool things for me. Commandlets for performing common system administration tasks. We can work with the registry. We can work with services on the machine, our processes, running processes. We can work with event logs. We can even work with WMI objects or Windows Management Instrumentation. And that's a lot of power there. Now, PowerShell is a task-based scripting language. And it also gives us support for existing scripts that are out there and for command line tools. The one thing, you'll have to go through a bit of a learning curve on PowerShell. I'm going to help you as we go through this course. PowerShell brings a consistent design, a common syntax, 
common naming conventions, and an incredibly powerful pipelining feature. Now, we'll talk about pipelining later, but let me just kind of give you a little teaser here. Pipelining functionality combined with some of the functionalities of the .NET framework really, really makes pipelining a lot easier, especially if you've worked in a Unix Linux environment with pipelining. Now, you also get a very simplified command-based navigation capabilities of the operating system. And what I mean by that is you can access and work with the registry and other data stores using the very same techniques that you use to navigate the files and folders of the file system. You also have in PowerShell very powerful object manipulation capabilities. So objects can be very directly manipulated. They can be sent to other tools or databases. We can pipeline them. There's automatic conversion of data types, automatic parsing, all sorts of things. And you're also going to see in PowerShell, it's an extensible interface. You can go as deep as you want to here. And at this point, a lot of independent software vendors or ISVs and even enterprise developers in your own company can build custom tools and utilities to administer your own software application, environment, network, whatever. So there's a lot going on in PowerShell. I'm going to really try to crack it open for you, give you some good basic understanding, and kind of set you free here and turn you loose to go absolutely crazy with PowerShell.